Alright guys, welcome back. First of all, I think we're going to go deliver that letter. Then I'm going to hit the uh, armorer, see if I can get some better gear. And we're going to go raid a bandit camp. I will say, this is a mission I'm not looking forward to. Just do the first part. I think we definitely have the, um... Wait, armor? Yeah, he must be at home. But, like I said, I think we definitely have the, um, weaponry and skills to be able to pull it off. But it's just, there's a thing in the first section that you'll notice that's kind of annoying. So hopefully that's not too big an issue. Do you think I'm pretty? I met this man at a party in the Guild Woods who says I am. You're right. I think... I think he might be in love with me. You haven't spoken to him, have you? Blue Mushroom guy? Yeah, I spoke to him. Oh, is this... is this from you? No. I don't believe it. Hell no. He really does love me. He says my eyes are like two glowing... I have to let him know I feel the same. Please, could you take this to him? Oh. Ah, great. I gotta bring her a letter. Or bring him a letter. We're essentially helping them hook up after a, like, one-night stand that they barely remember. Well, what are heroes for, I guess. And it's getting dark, and I think we're going to turn into the inn. Thanks very much. Yeah, no one, no one says a word about the heavily armed guy just wandering in and sleeping in the bed. I mean, there's a bandit camp right outside the city, so... I guess they're probably used to this sort of behavior. And guys, I apologize if you can hear my dogs are in the background. Have a good day. Don't know if you can or can't hear them, just apologizing if you do. A friendly face there. You've come to the right place. Alright, let's see. And we don't have enough for the shirts. Okay, and it's just like, we're... Wait. Oh, we do. Do we? Yes. We should. Why is that? Oh. Wait. Says they're in stock. Why can't I? Do I need to sell something? All those weapons I'm not using anyway. Now we're up to 3,300. See, is that enough to buy the actual shirt? It is. Which will be 67 plus. That'll be, whoa, that's bigger jump. I think we gotta get the uh, leggings. That's only an eight, we can't afford it. And I assume we probably won't be able to afford the other stuff. So. Yesterday, I saw Twinblade, the leader of the bandits. Probably should, uh, mention that to someone. You know, if he's just wandering around town, or outside of town. But, anyway. I guess this town is just so used to, uh... So used to being attacked by bandits that no one even bothers. May I help, or are you just... Oh, no, there's a nice person to I be seeing. That. Hero! 
Yeah. How do you kill them? Literally just inside? knocked a guy's box over. I'm a hero. Alright guys. Charge. Ooh, buried treasure. And assassin boots. Oh yeah, I think that's another part of this mission. We have to, I think, dress up as an assassin. Or something. I don't know, it's been a while since I've had to do this. You'll need to sneak past those bandits to reach their camp. If any of them see you, they'll raise the alarm and lock the gate. And if that happens, you must stay hidden for a short time before the gates reopen. And guys, this is exactly what I was just saying. Forced stealth section. This is the bane of any RPG that lets you choose whether or not you want to do stealth or not. It's just like, oh hey, you're a warrior who loves running into battle and causing mass chaos and destruction. How about you have to not kill these people and just sneak past them? Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Where's the first one? And he's got to the shut the gate. Yep. <laughs> Come on, draw the axe. I'm going to shut you off. Now I have to stay hidden. And hopefully not get spotted. Where the hell's the guards? Get more men out there! And since all the guards just called an alarm and aren't responding, and more. Alright, so they're going to come straight that way. Alright, they're starting to split up. Okay, that's two of them going past me. And that's a third one coming. And that one's coming up behind me. Intruder, shut the gate! <sighs> this is gonna be my whole day. Ah. Ow, that's gotta ah. It's all gone. Okay guys, I'm going to try and stay right here, see if I can get him to walk past me, and then go and make a break for the gate. Where the hell's the guards? Get more men out there! And since this is the second group we lost, Let's send more than three. I mean, could they at least have given you, like, a stealth crossbow or something, and, like, hey, hit them in the head from stealth to instantly kill them. You know, so you can actually take them out. Worst part is, I'm not even sure this is the only section like this. I swear, if you come over here. 
Intruders, shut the gate! <laughs> Alright, guys, come on. I have some issues to work out. Okay. Wait till he's gone away. Yeah, you can't just stand in front of the gate. Unfortunately, it won't work. You know, you have to give these bandit props, though. I mean, after like the second or third group to just like disappear without a trace, I wouldn't want to come out here. Hmm. I wonder what's over here. See, it'd be awesome if you could just like stand here and like. Where the hell's the guards? Get more men out there! And just like jump out, you know, or jump over that fence when they pass by. So I think I have the wrong approach. Intruders, shut the gate! Dude, what happened to you? Want some more? This way, we die. Fatality. Hey right, guys, I am going to look for a better solution. Hi right, guys, I'm back. I looked it up and. I think this is the area that they told me was, like, the best. So, hopefully it's just, like, what happened last time was his AI kind of randomly sent him here. And hopefully he'll just keep Where going. Where the hell's the guards? Get more men out there! And hopefully this time he will randomly just wander that way. And we can cut and run. I also heard that you can, in fact, try and shoot them with your bow and take them out stealthily. But I'm gonna get caught. Intruders, shut the gate! So you can take them out with your crossbow or bow. It's just you are now renowned enough to use the scary laugh expression. Ooh, scary laugh! You have reached familiar status. But yes, you can use a, cro a um, bow and take them out stealthily that way. But I'm not sure that mine is strong enough. But I can try that if he comes back this way again. Where the hell's the guards? Get more men out there! Intruders, shut the gate! Well, that didn't work.
can run for freedom and then slowly walk. Here, you heard what happened to Stern? No. What did the idiot do this time? He only lost his bloody cap in a raid. Uh, was a week before he could get back into the camp. Yeah, you can't get in unless you're in full gear these days. If you ask me, old Twin Blade's getting a bit jumpy. Don't know what's got into him. Oh, thank hey, you for that well-timed exposition. That? Thank you, Guildmaster Obvious. So yes, now I have to go through this whole long corridor of ugliness and try and find pieces of bandit gear. Oh well. Amazingly, I cannot simply find one my size and take his gear off his dead corpse. Ah well, better than force stealth. I'm coming to kill y'all. Hero, your will energy is low. What's that? Yeah, I'm definitely thinking about now kind of maining the physical shield, like using that mostly with my will and then just... Ooh. Okay, so this potion will basically just give me a bunch of uh, ex skill experience, which I don't find that useful for this character build, but anyway. But I've heard that it's also mainly good to use with a high combat multiplier, like just doing it outside of combat will be kind of meh. So what I want to do is wait till I get a big combat multiplier and then use it. Like 14. Alright. Now 13, because I can't hit buttons. Go here. Potions. Ages of skill. And I just got a ton of skill experience. It's gonna be really good when I can find, like, a. But I can find like a strength one. Hey look, meat randomly lying on the ground. Oh 
Alright, I haven't been keeping track, but that should be most of it. Ooh, I missed someone. I don't want anyone to feel left out. <laughs> Hero, your will energy is low. What's that? Hey, bandits! I'm coming to get you! Hero, your will energy is low. What's that? Yeah. There's this part, and then I think there's another part next where I have to do something else to get into another part of the camp, and... I mean, you have to admit, Twinblade is at least organized. These guys have a uniform. What was the thing? These guys have a uniform. They have, you know, multiple layers of security. Oh yeah! All of a sudden, I have to be nice and have to let him get up before I can, you know, murder him. Oh, I love having the sax. I'm sure that the uh, obsidian sword is going to be better. Let's see what this guy wants. What? Oh, you are not one of them, are you? My eyesight's not what it used to be. Your magical door, how does your eyesight deteriorate? One was a gallant knight. His plate armor was so shiny. Probably what did my eye see? Then there was an evil mage. Wore the darkest magical robes you ever saw. The last was a rogue. A bandit. Bit like the chaps here. Where is the... Alright guys, in case you didn't figure that one out. You basically have to get those three sets of clothing. I think it's like bright mail, probably dark will user robes or something, and then the bandit outfit. You put them all on and then he'll let you in. Well, you have to put them on in sequence. You want in? You better talk to me. Okay, guys, this is our cue. Oh, wait, I can just go here and bandit outfit. Oh, and there's a handy color skate. Hello, mate. Nice bandit gear. This here is Twin Blades Camp. Once you're in, you're in for good. So, feel free to get changed when you're inside. Another one coming in, Joe. Alright, so I think that's my cue that I can now change back into what I was wearing. Which I'm gonna do, because I'm pretty sure it's better than this. Yep. Let's see. Okay, bandit gloves are better. Any leather chest piece. Okay, and those were the best. Okay, so I did get a slight armor upgrade. Better drink this while I'm here. And welcome to the camp. Alright guys, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this video, so I'm just going to probably edit it differently based on however long each section takes. So, you know, if I do anything weird, it might be because I'm doing it just in case I have to uh, set up for another video. 